missing that key player to complete the god squad well check out buy my coins for instant delivered madden coins and be sure to use code savage at checkout for 10 percent off yo fellas what is going on it's savage here welcome to the first episode of film study with savage now this is going to be a sunday series only it's going to be my only video that i post on sunday and what it is going to entail is me helping you guys get a little bit better at madden 18 whether it's a play whether it's breaking down coverages which is what we're going to be doing today whether it's just like you know just something to help you improve your game a little bit more in madden so being that this is a new series can we get 500 likes on this series so that we can continuously do this every sunday so that i know you guys like it and i know you guys want it to stick around because it's just something for me to at least help you guys out a little bit to improve your game now what we are going to be bringing down today is cover four and more importantly cover four drop show two now i don't know who said cover four drop show two was like the best defense but it is easily one of the most overly overused most annoying defenses to go against and it is just extremely 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 boring to play against over and over and over and over again especially for just if, if you're just a casual player and you might not really understand why it's so good um it could make it very very pesky on you and there's plays that you probably would never think that you're supposed to call to call against the cover four drop show too and i will be breaking that down in a second but first what we're going to do is we're actually going to analyze the formation itself so this is obviously a screenshot from the mad of practice mode that you see behind me and what we are going to be doing is just analyzing everything that is what we would call inside of the box oh that was a really bad line inside of the box we're going to analyze this right now now something that people don't understand is how can there only be three down linemen and it stops the run it gets block sheds against the pass it does the, it does everything that you would want a defense to do so what we have to do is we have to figure out how come three down linemen are actually able to get block sheds how come three down linemen are able to get block sheds against the run how come three down linemen well for whatever reason so what happens is, is those two are going to double team the nose guard and the D, the nose guard in the center are going to have a one-on-one -on -one, and then there is a double team on the outside but it seems like when you run against it why does it instantly get blown up if you have the lineman covered you got a tight you got you even could have a fullback lead blocking you have the tight end taking out the linebacker right here so you have everybody just locked up well what's gonna happen is is obviously this guy right here your outside receiver is going to take one of two roles depending on how your line actually blocks sometimes what you could notice if they are pressing is that if they press this guy will actually just shoot right in which is going to obviously blow up anything you might try to run to the outside you could have this entire side sealed off but if you try to run it and they're pressed they are going to um get the angle on this guy because this guy is going to try to go second level and take out the safety right here i don't know why i drew the block out there i meant like somewhere around here but what is so interesting about this play about this defense which is super super frustrating is how the safeties play the run fit and what i mean by that is this safety right here does not in a cut in a cover two for example let's just say that they that this was a cover two because this is how you break down defenses let's just say they were in a cover two Cover two zones play the run outside because they are a wide set of zones. They will play the run like this. Whatever reason in Madden, in the cover four, they the cover fours don't play outside. They don't play outside for the run. They go straight down and then they take it out. Which means that since they're coming at a straight angle, it is leaving you in a way exposed if you try to run it out of certain formations and certain variations because think about it like this if you already have this entire edge sealed off if you have everything sealed off right and you're, you're, you're the box is loaded see they got five they got they got seven people in the box they got the two outside linebackers right here the two outside linebackers two interior linebackers and then they have three down linemen so that's seven in the box if you block all of them but this safety gets a straight angle and this corner is occupying that wide receiver he's going to be able to blow up the run and depending on how well the other players user is they could help because they could just take what a lot of people have been doing they're going to take this guy right here and they're just going to loop him and they are, will be able to pin you right down immediately it is something that a lot you can see it in my videos when i run dime cover for it is something that i do it's just called opposite side of the field usering to obviously blow up the run in the backfield 
Now, when you see a cover four, how do you identify it? That is something that we are going to be talking about as soon as we hop into actual playing Madden on practice mode so I can show you guys everything. But that right there is pretty much why cover four is so OP. That is the basic fundamentals, I guess you could call it, of cover four, just how how come three guys in the box can blow up a run and get block sheds? How come three guys? It's it's not even so much. It starts here, but it's more or less, can you get the edge before he crashes down this safety right here or whatever safety, whatever side you're running into. Obviously, if you're running into the left, if this safety crashes, your whole entire play is blown up. But if this safety crashes, your whole entire play is pretty much blown up. But if you do a few adjustments, you can actually run pretty much any play you want. Because as you guys know, I do preach run, run, run. And some people still might struggle against the run. But we're about to hop into practice mode. And I'm about to make you a 10 times better mana player in like two seconds. But yeah, let's do it. Let's hop into it. Let's get it. All right, guys. So now we are in the Madden 18 practice mode. And on the defense right now is the Oakland Raiders. And they're going to be running cover four drop show too. I am currently an iForm Pro out of the Cleveland Browns offense running power O. So all I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to hike the ball and you're going to watch the safety take a straight angle straight down inside the box as we talked about literally five seconds ago. I'm going to show you one more time. Keep your eye right here on, I think that's Carl Joseph. The yeah, Carl Joseph right there. Just watch him play this run perfectly. He's going to wait, take a straight angle, then go to the outside and completely blow up the run. Now let's just take a quick look at the instant replay. So once again, make sure that your boy Savage is not lying to you guys. All you're gonna see right here is look at that. The edge is completely sealed. It looks like you're about to have money. Look at that. Sherman got the block out there. As I said, since there was no press, Chris Connolly has one on one with the blocker. Now right here you have big old Bruce serving chasing kareem hunt in the backfield but it looking like it's looking like you're gonna have the outside to yourself he just got a block shed carl joseph played straight took the angle and now you are in a pickle no matter where you go it is looking like you are going to get tackled now this is something super frustrating that you have to deal with when you play against cover four drop show too but with just one adjustment with just once a little slide protection animation you will actually see yourself able to break it to the outside for extra yards now savage what the hell did you just do there it didn't look like the defense did anything different all i'm doing is sliding my line to the right and i've been doing this since last year and i just want to give a little memo in here to manager um actually kilo well one of the manager guys actually told me yo if you slide the run he told me this last year and i did a video about it last year and um of course i shouted out the turf team but they told me yo if you slide your run guess what your run is going to be 100,000 times better and i've been doing it ever since so i just want to give a huge shout out to those guys but right here as you can see the sliding of the run makes number 70 the pull is just way quicker you see him getting around now ready i'm going to show you it again without sliding look at 70's pull I, nothing it's like what the heck it's like he doesn't even know what he's doing the pull wasn't there quick and Carl Joseph immediately crashes down, but for whatever reason, when you slide, it gives you that little bit of extra, and all you have to do to slide is L1 and then right stick to the right. But now we are gone. That's just your power O. Now, I run power O against pretty much any play because power O is my favorite run, and simply sliding the line is going to make it better. But the key, there's, there's two plays that I really would recommend you guys to try against cover four drop show two, and I'm going to show you both of them right now. Now, first of all, like I said, I do want to just show you how you can recognize cover four drop show two immediately, and it actually is kind of a giveaway. It's an extremely easy defense to identify. Three, four odd looks very, very unique. Um, as soon as you see three down linemen two outside linebackers and two inside linebackers a red flag should go up okay odds are this is going to be covered for drop because you there's it's a very unique formation the way that the three four odd looks with the two outsides peeling like like looking like this and then the two insides just kind of chilling with the three down linemen that's kind of a very very blatant giveaway that it is 100 going to be three four odd and 99 percent of the time it is going to be a cover four drop show too now when you hike the ball let's just say you might not be convinced that he's in cover four when you hike the ball you're going to notice that the outside linebacker on the right side in the quarter flat he is going to react very 50 50 ish on the uh flat and the post on the right side so when i hike the ball ready he's going to play that flat but at the same time he went on the inside because quarter flats are kind of broken 
And yeah, I could just kind of pick that apart. But let's just say, yo, let's just say, ready? Let's just say that this dude that we're playing is a semi-decent Madden player. And he's just going to baseline, pinch his line. He's going to he's gonna edge rush them so that they're going to there. Or slant them outside. And let's just say he doesn't like quarter flats. Let's say he puts them in a hard flat. So, or in a curl flat, my fault. In a curl flat. So, ready? So, what we're going to do is we're going to hike the ball. We're going to hike the ball. He immediately starts to play that circle receiver because he doesn't want to give up the big post route. Now, ready? Let's just say you've been doing that a hundred times in the game, right? And he's getting pissed off and he's like, all right, screw it. He's not getting the check down anymore. Let's just go straight back here. And now, ready? Oh, look at that. Look at that dot right there. So, we're just going to hit the turf because since he was in the hard flat that time, he's not going to be able to obviously identify that post route. He's going to play the, the, the flat. And this is what is so unique about Corner Strike. It is one of my favorite plays to run um, because it gives you two reads on the one side and it gives you a drag across the middle. So the odds are the user of, the, of your opponent isn't really going to be too attendant to this side of the field. He's going to see Albert Wilson and he's going to go something like this and he's going to try to play him across that middle because that is what a user is meant to do. But as you see right there, we had R1 wide open. I was just showing you an example of what the opponent's user can do. Now my favorite run play to do and this is going to kind of make sense in a second is half back draw out of a shotgun formation and the reason i like to do it out of shotgun is because think about it like this there's three down linemen okay and what we were talking about earlier and you can rewind the video is the two on ones that you're going to have you're going to have a two on one with the right tackle and the right guard on the right on the right of screen dn the left tackle and the left guard on the left of screen dn and then the nose tackle and the center are going to be one on one when I click hike right now, watch the defense go back because they're going to play the pass. Defense goes back. Look at this hole. Okay, well, that's actually very unfortunate, and I'm sure you guys get sucked in a lot like that. That's stupid. I hate that animation. We're going to try that again, and hopefully um, number 78 does not get that ridiculous peel block. But right here, ready? There it is. We're going to have the hole, and look at that. That is yardage right there. And now I'm not looking for no one-play touchdown. If you've come to this channel for a one-play touchdown, I'm sorry. I'm not your dude. And I'm sure you could look up cover 4 B Peter, instant touch that I, I don't do I play football I play football I don't play glitch ball this right here is going to be a defense that or an offense that is a menace to your opponent's defense you are going to be able to pick up four or five six yards of carry right up the gut and I'm not saying you can't break a big one right there we got a little uh, we got a little unlucky on um, uh, Tyreek Hill unfortunately is not the most ideal run blocking wide receiver so we did not we were not able to seal off Bruce Irvin's strength but right here we're going to go again go again there it is look at Tyreek Hill getting second level and that is the runs that you want to see from your team so from this video just being able to identify okay this this is what a 3-4 odd looks like. You see the two interior, two exterior, and three down linemen. You got to definitely pay attention to that. You got to pay attention to the, the, this is a very unique formation because it has two middle linebackers and two outside linebackers. So when I hike the ball right here, I'm just waiting, I'm waiting, and then I have the quick read right there for about four, five, six yards at a time. And like I said, as your opponent adjusts, you adjust. Like I said, they could immediately start saying, guess what? Screw it. I want to come out in a curl flat. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to constantly get burned underneath and as soon as you identify guess what he's playing that curl flat um oh, oh no my fault my fault so that's if he wants to play the post say you're beating him with the post i apologize i apologize let's just say let's just say he gets t sick and tired of getting beat um under by the post the next thing you know he's going to be like okay i want to come out in a curl flat now on this play let's just say he's getting sick and tired of be of getting beaten underneath he's going to be like okay screw it i'm playing in the hard flat there's the hard flat right there and you are going to be able to find your receiver now right here right now unfortunately chris conley is not the most not the most run, route running uh, receiver. We're going to try that one more time. Got to give him one more chance. Got to give him one more chance. There it is. Hopefully. Okay. Chris, my man Chris Conley is, is not the most ideal. Who, who's on the other side? Tyreek Hill. Yeah. All right. We're going we're gonna to give Tyreek Hill his chance to shine right here because I cannot end the video right there on an incompletion. Let's see what it's looking like. There's Tyreek. Tyreek Hill with the catch. There, that, that is all you need to do. Don't be scared to throw it to the blue zone because the blue zones in Mutt, they need to be 91 zone coverage in order for them to act actually react to the corner route so if they are not a 91 zone corner you will be able to dot them up for days i really do hope this video helped you um i hope the the little thing in the beginning helped you identify why it's so overpowered but yeah guys that's pretty much all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed if you did smack a big fat thumbs up subscribe for new and have a wonderful rest of your night